Oh, I just got chased up by a pike. That was a good size one. By the way, welcome back to another episode. I know it's been a while. I've just been kind of taking a break from the YouTube thing. I don't plan on quitting or anything like that. Just been really busy outside of YouTube. I have been fishing, have been catching fish. I think we're gonna, probably gonna fail the 500 fish goal. But we're still plugging away at that. I know I already said it once, but I'll say it again. Welcome back to another episode. I'm actually out here throwing a 5 8 ounce Strike King Thunder Cricket. I like a, a heavier bait in deeper water. I actually just uh, ordered six or seven new Thunder Crickets out of my, from Tackle Warehouse, excuse me. I got a Blue Craw, black and blue, Chartreuse Blue Glimmer, Chartreuse and White. And that's what we're kind of gonna kind of do here is I'm gonna play some some catches chatterbait fishing which is what we've been doing a lot of this year a uh, chatterbait a jig and a ned rig has really covered all of my fishing this year but uh yeah bass and pike out on the lake hope you guys enjoy we'll have this an unboxing coming and just kind of getting back into the swing of things, man. After 500 videos, I needed a break. Like I said, got a lot of good things going on. And I'm gonna switch it to chartreuse and white because I think that pike that I missed at the beginning, at the beginning is gonna bite. Got him. That was a good one, stop the boat. Oh. Just had a fish, 100%. Tell me it's gonna be one of those days. Got him. Give it time. Backlash my reels, I was getting it, but it's all good. Thought he hit. Thunder cricket. I don't know. Maybe a two pound. Go ahead and clear the scale. I'm gonna say, I don't know, two pounds even, but I'm way off. It's been a while. You got one pound, 14. One pound, 12 ounces on the board. 16 inches. <coughs> Got him. That's a decent pike. Oh yeah. He's a little mad. Oh yeah. Got him. He had heard. Boom. No abrasion. Came off. I had one for sure.
That was cool. He's fighting hard. He's not even big. What was that, silver? Oh, get him in. Get him. It oh, is. God. It is. Look at this. We're going to have to get a look at that. Dude. No wonder why he fought so hard. Don't fall. It is. You love that, don't you? Don't do that. We're gonna have to get a look at the, the pattern on that pike. It's not big at all, but. You know how rare they are? Oh, it's it's very rare, but they're out here. What is it, one in 16,000 or something? Mm, I don't know about that, but I, oh, I got one. <laughs> Double silver. Maybe. Well, we found the we pike. We can show the difference on it. Yeah, we, but a regular pike versus that that pike. The genetic mutation. Yeah. I can't believe we got one. Yeah, we did. I bet this is the same one you caught. I bet it is. It looks about, you know, how much it would have grown since you caught it. Got him. He's in the weeds, bad. Oh, that's a good bass. Oh, dude. Dude, Justin. Dude. No wonder why it fought so hard here. Oh yeah. Probably a, I'd say a, probably a three pounder. Three pounds, zero ounces. You got three pounds, two ounces. Three pounds, two ounces, first bass of the day. Beautiful fish. Look at that. All right, so the pike on the right is the one that is lacking the pattern. And the pike on the left is a regular pike. Here, let me see that. See the colors on the regular pike? Gonna go ahead and release them. And then this pike that's lacking the pattern, you said this is the one with the genetic mutation? Away they go. So real quick, just to go over the tackle, I do have the SLX MGL by Shimano Corrado Rod. It's a 7.2 medium heavy. I got a Bandito bug in the June bug color, quarter ounce tungsten weight, two out hook. And then of course the chatterbait is uh, medium power, extra fast action with a six gear reel. This SLX is a seven. The six gear is the Metanium. Uh, normally I fish all of my moving baits with a medium moderate, but I just kind of switched to that G Loomis because I had it at the house and I hadn't used it in a while and it actually works really good for a moving bait. So I decided to bring it out about a month ago. But anyway, we're just gonna kind of go along with bottom baits and moving baits. I don't expect a lot of bass today, but I'll definitely take another three pounder. I got bit right there. A good bite. Just leave it. Oh. Not a good bite, but a pike. Oh. What just? That's a... Look how fast he's moving. Yeah. They're trying. Definitely uh, all small fish today, but that's all right. Wow, that thing came in like a fist. Mm-hmm. So 
So real quick before we go, I did want to go over some of the baits that I talked about at the beginning in this video. Because what I did is I have picked up some new Strike King Thunder Cricket baits off of Tackle Warehouse. I did get some of the colors that I've originally had and had confidence in, but I also did get some new ones. Um, and also some ones that I already had in different sizes. Now you guys know that I don't really throw a 3 8 Thunder Cricket. Uh, the ones that I throw, you also have Red Eye Shads in the box. Yeah, the ones that I throw are a half ounce and a five eighths. So if you take this, what do you call it? If you take this green pumpkin thunder cricket with the green pumpkin purple craw on the back, that is a five eighths. And then if you take this black and blue with this Okeechobee craw bug on the back, that right there is a half ounce. So I apologize for the bad lighting, but you'll see half ounce, five eighths. I mean, obviously you'll see the five eighths is bigger. And I have a video coming up where I fished with these baits, and we did we did pretty good. It wasn't nothing crazy, but we had a great day of bass fishing. Only got a couple pike, and I did fish with multiple chatterbait colors. So I'm also going to tie that into the video. But one of the new one of the new colors, well, two of the new colors that I picked up. Well, I had the blue craw before, but I lost it. This is a a five eighths blue craw, all right. And I actually have a natural colored cracking craw on there. This caught a few fish on our last trip out. Uh, the bluegill that I have in the front, I've had that. That's in a half ounce. And then another one of the new ones, I don't know if you guys know this, but Strike King actually came out with their own fire craw color in the Thunder Cricket. This is actually a 5 8 I do have a half ounce in a different box as well that I'm going to cover, but this 5 8 and this uh, fire craw, you can see the paint design on the blade and on the head of the, the bladed jig chatterbait whatever you like to call it right there that looks pretty good and then uh what is this this is a 5 8 bruiser i've actually this is one thunder cricket that i've had for a long time that it's been beat up pretty good and chewed up and it's actually lasted pretty good then another one too like i'm not going to cover everything because i kind of do cover the plastics in the baits in the video as i'm going not super in depth but i did want to talk about it to kind of prepare for the next video because the next video is better than this one this was just a basic hey i'm back this is what i've been doing here is a what is this one a five eights yep that's a half ounce that's five eights those are the two sizes that i use but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said it is pretty basic pretty i mean not even the greatest the next video is going to be better but i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and if you have any questions about the bass, pike, or the chatterbaits, let me know and you know I will respond. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.